Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from Genie Guide and in this guide video, I'm simply going to guide you on how you can use the WhatsApp application as a complete beginner in the short guide video. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button because we promise to bring you more awesome content and videos like this one. And without any further ado, let's get started with today's tutorial. Welcome to our beginner's guide video. In this guide video, I'm simply going to guide you on how you can use WhatsApp in a very short way in this short tutorial. So you want to make sure to watch this video till the end. Now without any further ado, let us get directly to the point. First of all, we want to simply open our app store and first of all, we are going to go through the download and the update process. Go ahead and simply type in WhatsApp and then if the WhatsApp app does have an update or a download available, go ahead and simply update the application. If you don't have already downloaded, tap on the install button in order to download the application. After we've downloaded WhatsApp, I'm going to simply open WhatsApp right over here. The next thing we are going to do is simply log in to our account or create an account as well you want to understand that you need to have a number or a sim card in order to use whatsapp so make sure you have access to that tap and agree and continue i'm going to simply go ahead and enter my number right over here once i enter my number i'm going to tap on next and it is going to send an otp code to my number right over here so i'm going to wait for the verification code to be received once i receive the verification code the whatsapp is going to be verified automatically and it will log into my account and you want to simply allow all of the permissions it requires now if you already have and if you're already logging into your pre-existing account and you had a backup it will ask us to restore that backup i'm going to simply restore the backup of my whatsapp so i'm going to simply restore the whatsapp backup and wait until the restore process has actually been completed so you can see the messages are actually being restored now first of all right after we open whatsapp the first thing we are going to learn is how we can actually add a new contact and in order to add a new contact on whatsapp you need to add that contact on your phone so make sure you have added that contact that particular contact on your phone and then let the whatsapp app to load and i'm going to show you what you can do now first of all you can simply tap on this chat icon at the bottom right hand side of the screen in order to go ahead and search for a new contact right over here or chat with a new person. Tap on the new contact option go ahead and simply enter the number name and then add that contact to your phone and you'll be able to add them back to your whatsapp app. The next thing I'm going to show you is how you can chat then I'm going to simply open any of the profiles right over here if you want to search. Tap on the search box and then I'm going to simply type in the number right over here. Now if you want to chat with this person you're right on this message box you can simply type in anything and in order to send this message what you can do is simply tap on this dm icon at the right hand side of the screen if you want to send emojis or any other profiles and you can simply tap on the emoji icon to send any type of emojis and if you actually want to call this person on the top right hand side you'll be able to see the video call and the audio call button if you tap on the video call icon right over here it is going to facetime that person and if you tap on the audio call it is going to give that person a call and if you want to actually block this person what you can do is simply tap on the three dots right over here as you tap on the three dots you can simply tap on more option as you tap on more here you'll find an option called block you can simply tap on block contact in order to block this particular person from whatsapp these were some of the settings now the next thing i'm also going to show you is that if i go and go to my account settings right over here at the top you have the option called account and if i go to account and go to privacy you have the option to actually set all of your privacy options you could actually set your active status on facebook you could also see who could actually view your profile photo you could see your status you could read your receipts your default and any other location you could come back and if you want to change your password or any type of thing you can come to the security tab right over here and then you can also show social security notifications as well if you want to turn on to step verification you can turn it on right over here and if you actually want to delete your account at the bottom you'll find an option called delete your whatsapp account go ahead and simply delete your whatsapp account in that way if you want to customize all of the chats options you can simply tap on chats here you'll find the theme which you want to actually add to your whatsapp theme and if you want to change the particular chat theme you can simply go ahead and tap on the wallpaper and then tap on this change button and then go ahead and simply select any of the wallpapers from your device or from the whatsapp itself if you want 
want to back up all of your chats so that you want to restore them when you actually want to load it from the beginning when you log into a new device you can simply tap on chat backup select the account where you want to backup such as your google drive account or icloud account or ios account then go ahead and simply tap on backup and then backup all of your chats in that way now you can come back right over here the next thing i'm going to show you is this notifications option now go ahead and simply you could also change the custom notification sound if you actually receive it from a particular somebody you could change the themes you could change high priority notifications your reaction notifications and notifications tones and many more options in this way if you want to tap on a profile icon right over here you can see this option right over here and if you want to log in your account to some other devices you can come back and then tap on these three dots over here you can simply tap on link devices and as you tap on link devices it will show you a list of all of the devices which are actually updated on your whatsapp and which is actually logged into another devices as well so this was a very short tutorial and a beginner's guide on how you can use whatsapp as a complete beginner we hope we have discussed all of the feature which which requires you to use the whatsapp application as a beginner if this video was helpful to you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you've got any more questions also make sure to simply leave them down as always thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video